Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt with CF Pro Tools and in this video we're going to be looking at how to create an automated webinar or how to set uh, automations for your webinars like 15 minute countdowns, 30 minute countdowns, top of the hour countdowns, that kind of thing. So let's take a look at that. All right, so in this video, let's take a quick look at how you can set up uh, automations for your webinars inside of ClickFunnels. So there's a little bit of a trick if you haven't done it before. If you're on a uh, like an everyday normal editor page, like a order type page or an OTO page, opt-in page, sales page, um, the settings that you need are not actually over here. So I'm in my settings here and you can see there's no webinar settings over here or anything. So there's a specific way to set this up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna back out of this and then what we're gonna do is go to ClickFunnels and then Funnels and we're gonna, I could actually go to Build Funnel but I'm gonna go to Build a New Funnel right here instead, apparently. So if you click on Build a New Funnel and it brings you here, what you wanna do is choose instead of, like I normally do a custom funnel. All the time I always do that because that's just the way that I am and I like to create things from scratch. But in this scenario, if you want to do an automated webinar and you want people, you want it to run in an evergreen manner, you want it to run at the top of the hour um, or at the, like every 10 minutes, every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, you want to come in here and click on choose uh, the host webinar. So we're going to choose the webinar and we're going to do webinar replay, not the live webinar. We're going to choose uh, the webinar replay. So you come in here and you can see over here it says we're going to create four different types of pages with this. It's going to create you a webinar sign up page, a confirmation page, the auto, auto webinar and the webinar replay page. That's technically that's what we want. What we're really looking for is the webinar sign up page because it's going to be a very specific um, auto webinar type page. Okay. Um, and there's no way to create that from scratch, which is really weird. Um, so let's click on Build Funnel here. You can watch that explainer video if you want to, if you come in here. Um, so here it is. Uh, it'll give you all these pages here. But you see this tab? So there's Webinar. This one normally comes up if you're creating a new page. Um, but the one that you want is this tab right here, which does not normally come up all the time. And you want that. You want the Auto Webinar and you want the Registration Page type okay so you can see that here auto webinar registration and what I'm gonna do is just pick a random template here I'm not gonna mess too much with the other ones in here uh, let's go let's go over to this one real quick it still gives you the audio auto webinar and you can choose the thank you and pick one of these here and this should bring over the dynamic information from the first page let's look at the webinar broadcast room so let's create this one um, we have the auto webinar the replay room which should be for the next one the webinar broadcast room can be a, a regular webinar type page. Um, so you just come in here, pick the pick the style that best suits your needs. You can um, let's go with this one. This one looks like it's the same style, so we'll go with that one. Okay, now that we're here in the auto webinar section, here's the what you can look for. Here's the things that are going to be a little bit different here than what you would find on a regular webinar page or a regular registration or opt-in page, and that's the webinar settings tab is in here. Okay, so. Uh, let's look and see what's in there. There's not that much, but what you want is the auto webinar type, pick date and time, um, but there's also other options here. There's top of the hour settings. This will make your countdowns dynamic to always uh, count down at the top of the hour, and there's every X minutes, so you can set it for 10, 15, 20, and 30. Apparently not 45. I don't know why I thought that, but let's go with every 10 minutes for this because um, I think that that's going to give you uh, the best conversion rate. So when somebody comes to your page and they see, oh, this starts in 10 minutes, I should probably sit here for the next 10 minutes. If it's like 15, 20, 30, they might go find something else to do. They're going to end up on YouTube. They're going to end up, they're going to go watch uh, the latest episode of Big Mag Theory or something. You know, they're going to go do something else, bottom line. So set that. Again, that's in your settings and in your webinar settings. And the way that I'm showing you here in this video this is the only way to get with the webinar settings tab to even show up, okay? If you know of another way, let me know. Leave me a comment and tell me, no, Matt, there's another way to do this because I would love to know what that is. All right, let's look at some more things. So we have uh, some basics on this page, what you'll learn, whatever. Uh, let's put a countdown on here. What if we had a countdown? I'm going to put it right here. 
So when you go into the elements, you'll see that there's webinar date, webinar time, local time, auto webinar countdown, and the auto webinar at uh, time. So these are dynamic. Auto webinar countdown is going to give you a countdown that counts down to whatever time it is that you want this set set up to go. So we set it in the settings to count down every 10 minutes, right? So let's look at uh, the themes. Um, I'll set this to yellow. Let's make it, it doesn't matter. Um, and maybe we can change the settings on the um, black, white. We could do white subtle here so it stands out a little better. Um, so these digits were this countdown should show up every 10 minutes. Um, every 10 minutes, I'm just going to put that in there so it doesn't keep doing that. And then we're going to hit preview and see how that looks. All right, so it's 11.46 now. It should be about four, about a four minute, maybe three and a half or just about three. And there it is. So that's counting down to every three minutes. Let's add some more into this. Um, I'll come back to the pop-up here in a moment. Uh, we also have, uh, you could add in a headline webinar starts at uh, and then we're going to add in another element that element is going to be the auto webinar uh, at okay so we're going to use this element that way it says today at whatever um, so we can set that so that is in green or yellow or green some other color that's easier to read so now we have two dynamic elements on here let's hit that and say preview now you can see that this is starting at 11.50 a.m., So and I've got 1 minute and 50 seconds. Now the person can register their spot. The pop-up comes up. Now this here says select desired date, but, you know, so there's different dates, there's different times. We don't want to use these elements because this is for a different setting. You can use this if you want, but you'll have to make sure that these specific times are up here, and I'll show you where to find those as well. So let's go back to the editor, and um, if you remember right, we had the pop-up, show pop-up. We have these here. Um, so what we want to do is take these out, and then I'll show you how to put them back in, just in case you're using the pick date and time option. Um, but for every 10 minutes, we don't need these, so we can just take those out, and then make sure that you have name, email, and that the uh, button submits the page. Right, so now it's just the date, or the name and the email, and uh, nothing there. You can go in and edit this. Make this look how you want. I'm just using this because it's part of the template. But you can customize this however you want with whatever text you want. Put your images in there. Um, there's no reason uh, at all for uh, you to keep this exactly as it is in the template, of course. All right. So let's go back to that preview. Um, we should have uh, some basics here uh, with the nine minutes. Now it's saying that it starts at 12 p.m., which is in exactly 10, 9 minutes and 11 seconds. We'll go to the next page. Securing, I don't know who Bob is, but he must get so much spam over at Gmail. Um, so here, um, you can see that that dynamic date and time actually pulled over right here. Now, isn't that, I think that that's kind of cool. It says uh, April 11th, 2020. Is it really April 11th? Um, so let's see if these date and times are correct. <laughs> Eastern, 12 p.m. These are actually correct date and time. So these are here and correct. You can put your own videos in here, of course. You can even have a button that goes so that way if they've got 10 minutes to blow, they can buy something from you in the meet, wait before you show up. Um, they can go buy that thing. And just so you know, people who buy something before your webinar are more likely to buy what you're actually selling on the webinar. So don't sell something that conflicts uh, with whatever it is that you're selling, whatever your offer is on the webinar. Whatever you're selling here should complement what you have on your webinar, whatever your offer is. Okay, let's get rid of that. And I think you guys are getting the idea. Let's go look at the editor page for that particular page and just kind of see what we're looking at. Edit the page here. I'm on the webinar countdown. This is the confirmation page now. In a few minutes, if I'm still rambling, what I'm gonna do is opt in again or register. And then uh, see, I, it should push us forward automatically to uh, the next page here. Auto webinar time. Okay, so the date here is auto webinar date and auto webinar time. Okay, so this is just information that's dynamic that's being carried over, and you should be able to see these here. So you got webinar date, webinar time, 
add event 2.0. This is what the add to calendar looks like here. Um, add to calendar on this one looks, oh, I like that. That looks really cool. Um, that looks very interesting and different. It's nice to see them making some, some changes. So let's go back here. I'm going to get rid of this one and click OK. I'm going to move this up because that add to calendar looks better than the other one. And this doesn't work. So I'm going to get rid of this. And then we're going to hit Save. And I'm going to leave this auto date, auto time, all this stuff in here. This is auto. And I've got a few minutes before the webinar starts. So let's do this. Let's uh, go back. And I'm going to hit the webinar broadcast room. Let's go look at this and see what we got going on on the broadcast room. So we can make sure. It, so it should, after the countdown hits zero, it should uh, push over to this page at the end of that countdown. Right? So... We have uh, probably just a regular old video that's going to play. You can find something on YouTube. Let that play. And there's also uh, CF Pro Tools has um, the, the YouTube autoplay restart video add-on. You could use that where it puts in uh, kind of a play icon in there. It puts an overlay. We also have one for Vimeo. I would highly recommend using one of those two if you're using ClickFunnels for a webinar style platform. Let's just hit save and then we'll go back. We have a, a couple minutes and we're going to go through this process and just see how it's working for you. Okay, remember up to this point, we've created a special auto webinar funnel that auto created these four pages, three of which uh, are auto webinar style pages that we needed in order for this webinar to work. So we have a minute and 45 seconds to, starts in 12 o'clock, which is in just a couple minutes and we're going to register our spot. This one's going to be Bob plus 48, and we're going to secure our spot, and that submits. It comes over here. The countdown timer is dynamic. Uh, we don't have that like button because it wasn't working. I took that HTML out, and we got the auto webinar April 11th, which is today, um, at 9 Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern time, which is correct. And then I've got the add calendar. Let's do Apple. Um, so it gives me that ICS again. And I can add that directly. It doesn't even pull up the calendar. Um, it just says um, home. I'll say Matt appointment there. Um, so 43 seconds. We're just going to hang tight and let that uh, count down for a second while I uh, ramble and blabble on about this. Five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's see if it pushes us forward to the next page. Oh, and it does. Okay, thank God it works. All right, see now this, see how this didn't start. Um, so that's where it would be helpful to have one of those Vimeo autoplay, unmute, replay add-ons from CF Pro Tools, right? Or YouTube autoplay, unmute, restart, uh, like one of those add-ons that we have. That's going to be very helpful here. All right, so all that information carried over. Um, everything is really great. I love how this works. So if you're setting up an auto webinar or an evergreen webinar and you're using ClickFunnels, um, I recommend using some, some add-ons from CF Pro Tools, the Cookie Time Popper. YouTube auto start restart video add-on and the Vimeo restart add-on restart video whatever it's called um, Come over to CF Pro Tools check that out if you guys haven't already picked up a CF Pro Tools account um, Come on over and get started today. Uh, we'll give you a good deal the links down in the description Don't forget to leave a comment like this video hit that subscribe button Sometimes you'll be able to use CF Pro Tools to enhance your experience on uh, click funnels to make it even better and uh, I think you guys are going to love this, okay? Have fun. Let me know what I can do to assist you guys further. And I will talk to you guys soon in another video. Take care.